Okay, so your first question might be, how in the world did I cut these out of rolled paper? Well, the first thing I did was I took my Fisker's paper cutter and a piece of cardstock. And with my Fisker's paper cutter, I cut a template seven and a half by seven and a half inches. Now you could use any size you want. You can make this any size um, as long as you have a perfect square, okay? So then I took a, a big sheet of the um, wrapping paper and I just rough cut it out and I laid the print flat on the table okay and I just put a little piece of tape on each one of the corners and then I took my template and traced the square with my Sharpie extra fine marker okay so you had all these squares at that point I just took my scissors as you can tell and just kind of rough cut the squares out okay now once I did that once I rough cut the squares out this is the part where I flatten them out I took the edge of the table I'm showing you on my desk but um, I, I sat down and I, I took the edge of the table and I put my paper like this and roll it down like this on the very edge. Okay? And it did make it um, flat enough where I could work with it, you know. So, um, yeah. And then I went back in with my Fisker's paper cutter and cut the little squares out on the black lines. So, that's how I did that. And here are some examples. See? And they're nice and square, and they are flat enough where I can still work with them. You know, they're not super curled. <laughs> so, that's how I did that. Okay, so we'll move on to the next part. Hi, this is Lori. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. Well, this is something I think you're really going to enjoy. This is how to make sour cream containers, sturdy ones, out of wrapping paper. And that's all we used was wrapping paper. I would buy the wrapping paper that's a little better quality than the Dollar Tree. Um, it doesn't have to be expensive, but just a little better quality. And um, I bought um, these at either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They were half price after Christmas. Um, I believe Home Goods has some nice paper as well. But with that said, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how I put this together. And I think you'll be surprised at just how much this holds. Okay, so I have all my little squares cut out. And I used paper that I bought for half price. I believe it was from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of the two. Um, Home Goods also carries nice paper. So um, I have some little mouse prints here. And I'm going to be using this though today. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is turn this over on the back. And I'm going to take some fabric tack and I'm going to put just a thin line all the way around the edge close enough um, to where it will seal but also not close enough to where this will um, smush all over the place when you go to press it together with the other piece of wrapping paper okay Close this up. And you're probably wondering why I'm using the fabric tack rather than the um, tape. Well, that's because it gives you a few moments to adjust things. And the tape does not. Okay, so we're going to So we have the 
this on both sides. All right. So um, the next part I will be using tape on. Okay. Hold on just a second, please. Okay, I'll be using this double-sided scrapbooking tape from the Dollar Tree. Okay. And I'm going to be um, using the side here. Yeah. All right. make it where you can see it and I can also see it <laughs> putting it right on the edge okay turn it over and I'm going to cut it here there we go Okay, now let's see if I can peel this off easily. Sometimes it works for me just using my finger, and other times I have to take the tip of my scissors. There we go. Alright, so we are going to be rolling, turn it around, I'm going to be rolling this part over, and then taking this part and sticking it just to the very edge. And please be patient with me because I'm trying to do this around a camera. There we go. I'm going to press this down. Okay, so now we have something that sticks. Now we have what looks like um, what we started with, a tube of wrapping paper. Okay, but the bottom part, I'm going to make sure that seam is at the back. The bottom part here, we're going to just flatten the edge like that. Okay, now this time I'm not going to be using scrapbooking tape, I'm going to be using Fabri-Tac. So, just right here at the bottom, close enough to the edge where it's not going to squish out. Like this. Okay. And we're going to allow this to dry for about, oh, I'd say, oh, about 30 minutes. Okay. And then we're going to come back and we're going to fill this and decorate it. So it's that easy. <laughs> okay, um, we will be back. Okay, you can put anything you want in this, but I'm going to be filling this with um, the little mini Santas from Aldi, and they have little bears and little snowmen as well. And I paid $2.99 for these. Okay, so um, the bottom part that we let dry you're going to be using some um, glittery gold washi tape and you can find this at Hobby Lobby in the arts and crafts section or the arts section excuse me um, you know where all the painting supplies are and such and <clears throat> you can also find it on Timu now I already measured the length here at the bottom so I'm going to lay this like, like that and I'm going to do that and then there we go and then I can fold it up. This is just for decoration and if you have any <clears throat> hanging off the side here you can just take your scissors and do that. Okay. So now we're going to fill it with the Santa's. I'm going to show you just how sturdy this is because these are solid chocolate. Ok. 
keep the little container for something else. Okay, see? We got that filled in here. Alright, so now what we're going to do, since we have this going this way, we're going to turn it to the side, okay, and put this together like this so it looks like a sour cream container, all right? And once again, <clears throat> you don't want to fill it to the very top because you want to put <clears throat> a little bit of this fabric tack right on the very edge. Just enough to hold it, but not enough to have it squish through. And you're going to press it down like this. Okay. Now you're going to let it dry for 30 minutes and then come back, okay? Okay, so this is dried, so we are going to do the same thing as we did on the other end with the um, washi tape. And do this. Okay, so now we are going to find um, a flat side up at the top here. So we're going to use this. Okay, then we're going to take one of these little bows that I bought um, from Timu. These are 89 cents for 12 bows, and I just love these. They have them in silver and red as well. And I just took one off and I, re I twisted it a little tighter. So now we're going to take um, some scissors and cut off most of it. But we're going to leave a little bit of this wire here and just press it down like that. Okay. So. What I did was um, I took a needle and gold cord and I just strung it through this little button a couple of times and then made a little bow. Sorry, it was upside down. So that's what I did here. Okay, we're going to put Fabri-Tac, put that on that little bow like that. Okay, so. Just a little bit of the fabric tack. It just gives it a little extra flare. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to put some fabric tack here on the back. We're going to place it right here at the top. Like that. I'm going to hold it for just a second or so. Yeah. And then we're going to allow this to dry a little bit, enough to where it sticks on here. And then we'll be back. Okay, here we are. We have our little sour cream container full of chocolates. And um, these chocolates were 4.4 ounces, so that's quite a bit in here. And it's nice and sturdy. And once again, you do want to buy paper that's a little better quality than the Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be expensive, but just a better quality. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. These were really a lot of fun to put together. And this is something you can actually do ahead of time during... The summer. Um, you can put these together except closing the ends and adding um, the bows, but you can make up, you know, the little buttons and bows and ahead of time. And so all you'd have to do is fill these and um, glue it shut with a fabric tack and then add the little washi tape. And that's it, you know. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Take care. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.